I loved this class when I took it. I loved it when I TA'd it as a grad student, and I love teaching it now. Just to be in the machine shop making things, putting things together, that's, that's my idea of fun. Especially getting to work on the yo-yo with a team. We've all learned a lot from the process, we've all learned a lot about each other, and it's been really fulfilling. At the end of the day, it's the yo-yo class. Our students remember this class as the yo-yo class, and they take their yo-yos on with them. I still have my yo-yo. 208 is one of our core undergraduate courses. And in the class, we teach the fundamentals and practice of manufacturing. It's using the processes that can make products at scale, quantities of tens of thousands or millions or more. Students' lab projects is to design and manufacture 100 yo-yos. We really have to think from the beginning, how can we make this easy to make so that the repeatability is there? The yo-yo is a great manufacturing project for us because it has a nice balance of creative freedom and simplicity. And it lets the students be creative at the front end and design and manufacture something that's truly their own, but also us to deliver on the learning objectives of manufacturing, making the tooling, being able to measure the parts, understand variation, and model the cost, and think of what a factory would look like in the end. I really got to try a bunch of different manufacturing techniques, CNC milling, injection molding, thermoforming. I feel like I live in the LMP shop some days, and the shop staff are super helpful. One of the most unique aspects of 288 is how hands-on it is. Being in the lab and making things really solidifies the connection between practice and theory. How do you machine metal? How do you mold plastic? How do you 3D print in different materials? The skills that 288 teaches are how to make things. It's really as simple as that. So in this class, we've gone through a, an evolution over the past few years. We created a lot of video material, and the students watched that before class. We are talking about metal casting. And then in class, we do a hands-on activity that captures the topic of the week. Because of the pandemic, we've created a hybrid learning model. But how do you find like the ring probability? So each week, we meet all of our students in one session for a short lecture, and then they break up into pairs where they do their weekly hands-on activity. And then we, the staff, jump around into all their virtual rooms and talk to them and ask and answer questions. We would come up with one idea and think that it was really good, but once we took that concept from the computer, to the physical machines that we were using to make these parts, we noticed there were some things that were wrong. It's really fantastic and much more efficient for learning to really have those hard conversations and, and work through those hard problems together. Seeing a mistake in person really teaches you never to make the mistake again. Manufacturing is essential to design, it's essential to advancing technology, and it's also essential to sustainability. With this class, our students can understand the connection between manufacturing and the health of the planet. When we had our unit on sustainability, it really opened my eyes to how wasteful some processes can be, but also the steps that are being taken to try and remedy that. In terms of carbon, it's absolutely essential. It has changed the way I look at everything. Even small changes in the design, we have to keep in mind, can have large impacts on sustainability if we're making thousands or millions of these things. It's just a new way of thinking about engineering.